Hey guys. Okay, so I'm back on our quintiles. Um, basically, quintiles and biquintiles really they they show you where you're most creative, and it shows your 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 superpower, your abilities. Um, they are based on the division of 360 circles. By multiples of five, which I'm not going to break down. Um, quintiles, they say something about an individual's personal style, but also the style and technical quality of their creative work. So, for instance, people who are hands-on with their art, music, even uh, their mental attributes because you can find creativity in all kinds of things. Um, these are the people who are preoccup preoccupied with making, forming, linking, and arranging things. Okay, so they are very well at putting things together. And that's what biquintiles and quintiles do. It's associated with Virgo and Mercury being drawn to a particular way of linking information and ideas together can indicate like an obsession with a particular subject. So they become very, the, the where you see the quintiles and that energy of the biquintiles, you almost become obsessed with that thing. Um, let's say you want to, you, you're studying to be a great pianist and you, study and you practice every single day until you master that thing. Uh, quintile energy also grants the, abil the ability to turn creative inspiration into concrete products. So it shows you also where you manifest, okay, where you turn things into material. Quintiles and by quintiles are the two most powerful as aspects in the chart, except for the trine. The trine is the most powerful. Um, that's why it has the, the three sides. It's a triangle. That's the symbol. And that's where you are naturally gifted and you just naturally things just come to you or they manifest very quickly there. So the obsessive quality of the quintile also points to the association with Pluto. And it has the ability to take disparate elements and combine them into like into a cohesive style, which can show a translation and a transformation of all the information. May it be audio, visual, taste, etc. And you could also call this alchemy, okay? Quintiles are not inherited gifts, okay? They are your unique gifts, and they are the way of linking information, ideas, concepts that are entirely your own. So these are your gifts. This is not something that's passed down or inherited by any family members. It is your own unique gift and style in the way that you create. Now, however, the presence or, or absence of quintiles don't show whether a person will be creative or not. So if you don't have a quintile on your chart, does that, that does not mean you're not creative and that it doesn't mean that you don't have abilities, okay? And if you have many quintiles, some people don't access or activate their quintiles or back quintiles. It's all it all depends on the action and what you put forth into it okay so just because you don't have them or you have less than doesn't make make you any less creative okay quintiles show the ability to connect information in a unique way they imply with a way of connecting informations like the number five okay like uh, in tarot or numerology, especially if you see the number 555 a lot, 
um, the Hierophant card in tarot, all the fives in tarot. Fives have a specialized knowledge and the ability to communicate that knowledge in a particular style, which is geared to translate information to make it understandable so people can understand and process the information. So fives are concerned with teaching and learning. They absorb and pass on information and knowledge. That is what quintiles and biquintiles do. Okay, that's how the energy is worked. These aspects show you you're active, actively learning about this creative energy or actively teaching it to other people. Okay, these are the teachers, the guides, or it could be you teaching and guiding yourself to guide others or people just learning from you by just watching you. Okay, but or just interacting with you, period, you know. Quintiles are wedged between the opportunity to develop a, a talent, okay, and a creative crisis or frustration or contrast, okay? And then a biquintile sits between uncomfortable dissonance, okay, and they need adjustment. So that's where you may feel annoyed, okay, or frustrated. And then that's when the creative juices start moving you or you start moving into the direction of desire. Biquintiles also show a greater urgency to let go or spread an idea or a style before changing it or moving on to something else. So it's like you feel like you have to hurry up and do this thing. You have this urgency. You have to do it. Um, but it's, it's easier. Biquintiles you know, it's easier to let it go and moving on to something else. So you're like, okay, I'm over and I'm going to move and do something else. I I've already done that or I'm done with doing that. So it's time for me to move on. But quintiles seem to feel, they, they, they feel more like an expectation and an excitement but it's less urgency so you don't you don't feel like you have to do it or you know it doesn't feel as strong as a biquintile so biquintiles are far more stronger than a quintile okay if you have any questions let me know see you later guys